hello guys in this tutorial let's see some loss insets I think most of you heard about this commonly these are really the most important things in set theory so item potent law a union a is equals to a a intersection a is equals to a associative law a union b union c is equals to a union b union c it can also be written as a intersection b intersection C is equals to A intersection B intersection C I hope everyone is clear up to now commutative law commutative law A union B is equals to B union C clear okay A intersection B is equals to B intersection C absorption A union A intersection B is equals to A A intersection A union B is equals to A if you want you can even solve them and recheck them okay a union b whole bar is equals to a bar union sorry intersection b bar this is similar to our statements in which you have learnt de morgan's law it is similar to that if it is a you will be using a bar if it is b bar if you will be making it b if it is union you will make intersection if it is intersection you will be making union okay a intersection b whole bar is equals to a bar union b bar phi intersection empty set intersection is equals to universal set universal set intersection is equals to phi a bar whole bar is equals to a i think everyone is clear up to now okay, sorry this paper is out okay now it's fine a union phi is equals to a a intersection universal set is equals to a a union universal set is equals to universal set a intersection phi is equals to phi a union a bar is equals to universal set a intersection a bar is equals to phi okay guys even there is a topic called counting here he'll be giving a question he'll be giving a question of different different types of people if there is if the letters are given there is a question of three languages he'll be giving a per, few per, 20 members know english 25 members know Tamil, 30 members know French. How many people know two two languages? He'll be giving the pair values, and he'll be asking the total number of students. He may ask like that. So let us take an example. This is the concept called counting. Okay, here there are few formulas. If you want, you can remember these formulas, or you can even solve using Venn diagrams. Okay, let's go through the formulas once. N number n means number of a union b is equals to number of a plus number of b minus common number number of a intersection b similarly number of a union b union c is equals to number of a plus number of b plus number of c minus number of a intersection b minus number of b intersection c minus number of a intersection c plus number of a intersection b intersection c okay guys i hope everyone is clear up to now so let's go through a problem the question will be so clear here I have just wrote it really really shorter way so that it will be really clear and easy to understand okay I just skipped the question and I have just wrote in terms of statements he gave total number of students is equals to 260 number of students who are interested in max course is 64 that is n of a I gave three subjects a b c a is max b is computers and c is business Okay, number of students who are interested in computer science are 94, in business are 58, in both max and business are 28, in both max and computers are 26, in both computers and business are 22. Number of students who are interested in three subjects are just 14. And he is asking to find the number of students who are interested in at least a single subject. Okay, now it's time to solve this problem. This is really simple problem guys. There is nothing much to think. It's really, really easy. Okay. Initially, I have just told you how to draw a Venn diagram. There are three different pairs. So there are three sets which are intersected at three points, three or four boxes. So that's fine. Now, start filling from the interior part. Okay. Initially, he gave the number of students who, who are interested in all the three subjects are 14. So the interior part is filled with 14. Okay. And then you will be filling these three intersections of two two pairs. So 
so now it's a bit easy so he gave the number of students who are interested in computers and business are 22 CB CB it should be 22 but it's already 14 available there so 22 minus 14 that is 8 so you'll be writing 8 so the people who are interested in computers and business are 14 plus 8 that is equals to 22 so it's clear right so now further continuing the previous step number of students who are interested in max and computers max and computers is between a and b a b already 14 is filled and there are 26 students who like that so the rest of the p students are 12 so 12 plus 14 is equals to 26 hence the students who are interested in max and computers are matching so now number of students who are interested in max and business a and c a and c already 14 is available and the value is 28 so it is 14 so now the values is matching to 28 so the intersection parts are done so now the number of students in each individual things should be calculated so number of students who are interested in business course is 58 business is C but in C we are already able to see 14 14 8 so 14 plus 14 28 28 plus 8 36 right okay so we will we'll be subtracting 58 minus 36 is equals to 22 so the left of students in 22 right I hope you understood similarly for B computer course is 94 94 12 plus 14 26 26 plus 8 36 is that right sorry I'm somewhere wrong it is 34 okay 94 minus 34 is equals to 60 so the number of students in B are 60 so next in A a be the mathematics 64 so 12 plus 14 plus 14 12 plus 14 plus 14 that is equals to 20 30 40 right yep 40 64 minus I think I did somewhere okay here it is 64 minus 40 that is equals to 24 yep hence number of students of A union B union C is equals to 24 plus 12 plus 14 plus 14 plus 60 plus 8 plus 22 that is equals to 154 154 students know at least one language at least one language so if he asks the number of students he did know who did not who don't even know is are not even interested in a single course will be the total minus these people who know it who learned at least one course 260 is the total number of students minus 154 is equals to 106 106 is the number of students who didn't even take a single course i hope you are now familiar with sets this is the conclusion of sets and in further videos we'll be going on through mathematical induction and i hope this video helps you a lot thank you thanks for watching the video thank you